Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Owen Seven Spore, back with Rulaways Three as France. This will be episode fifty-five. Currently, it is April of nineteen twenty-five. Tensions are fairly low across the board, although we are having some uh, issues with uh, old ships and uh, you know the need to refit them. But it's also really difficult to do because of the whole cruiser building program. Um, I also have a ship I need to rebuild into a carrier at some point, but like. I'm going to wait a couple turns to get that done. I also need more destroyers desperately, which will probably be the next uh, big concern. And I know last episode I did a bunch of uh, reorganization, um, so hopefully that'll kind of help things a little bit. And also now lay down uh, like fast AMCs, which means hypothetically I could get like 28 knot uh, aircraft carriers. I need to. From uh, AMCs. Oh, they aren't going to be great. Oh, Russia has laid down a uh, CV. Britain's laid down CVs. Oh, God, yeah, Russia's building a lot of uh, CVs. I do. Pardon me. Yeah, I don't want to fight Britain. I really don't want to fight Britain. They've gotten rid of their all their old dreadnoughts. Um. I guess Danton, my Danton isn't bad, but, you know, I'm really relying on, what, one, two, three good Dreadnoughts and, uh, you know, one good Battlecruiser, whereas Britain has, like, one, two, oh, dear God. Yeah, Britain has a lot of good battleships. Their Battlecruiser's not as much, um... Princess Royals are actually really good. Uh, it, it would be a tough fight against them. If that's what we wind up facing. They're building some smaller... What the hell, Britain? Britain. 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 Why is your CVL larger than your CVs? I mean, okay, this is a battlecruiser conversion, but still. Uh, good job, Britain. Uh, okay, I think... I'm going to wait one more turn. Actually, what happened in the messages? Okay, okay, guy got promoted, guy got promoted, couple guys got promoted, but that guy's above average, that's good. Who increases... Their alliance with the USA makes him feel confident. Hmm... The USA, yeah. That's something where I, I really don't want to have to fight Britain. So I'm going to decrease spying and try to reduce tensions with them. Actually, no. I, I paid for that spying. I'll keep it on low, but I will try to defuse tensions, because I, I... A war with Britain is really bad right now. Um, Probably unwinnable. Okay, so, yeah. What I wanted to do was I wanted to check which ships had lost captains. So, Marseille lost her commander. Um, ability, we do have an unassigned above average. So, yep. And that, Trout is a actually good CL. So, um, we have some guys here. Um... Probably take this uh, average guy. Okay, so it's the guy on this cruiser, which I would want to grab. And now you don't have a commander, and you're an old Pascal, so you can get a random one. And if I go to the division editor, yeah, okay, everyone has a division. Okay, cool. Go two more turns before I start the rebuild on uh, my aircraft carrier. Because I did check how much the rebuild would cost. Oh, I get TPS 3 now. Jamaica is now independent. Uh, Great Britain is reduced. Awesome. Okay. Um... Uh, 
I think it is now time to get uh, Bjorn converted. So replace machinery. You need to be capable of 24 knots. Um, flight deck. Start with like 40. Check, change type, and continue. Um, she does need the 6-inch guns initially. I think I can do that, but I cannot. It's not allowing me to get an additional uh, fire control, unfortunately. Not yet. So, um, add more aircraft. Get her up to about 49. And then I'd probably want to send her in for another rebuild. To, uh, to get rid of the 6-inch guns and then probably move the 4-inch guns in their place. And, uh, hopefully just reduce the amount of, uh, what was I going to say? Redu reduce the amount of weight on her and maybe get another aircraft or two. But yeah, I think now is when uh, Bjorn goes in for her uh, CV rebuild. That'll take 14 months to turn her into a 49 aircraft uh, carrier. Okay, someone has no commander assigned. That would be an old cruiser. So grab that. Division editor. I think all the divisions are good. Um. So, hmm. That would get me budget. It would slightly increase tension with Russia. I think I can get that. No, no, handle it quietly and just. I think I'm far enough away from war that I can get those tensions down. Oh, now I can build large aircraft carriers. Um. Okay, better version of one of our torpedo bombers, and a better version of one of our fighters with more range. That gets me just a little bit more budget to be able to um, afford all the things I am building. It should be noted that once the Joffres are complete, they are going to be converted straight into uh, aircraft carriers. I might not actually lay down like a dedicated uh, aircraft carrier for a bit. I think today's focus is going to be on getting more destroyers built. Undergoing, I assume, reconstruction. Oh, now we get advanced uh, our control. God damn it, Britain! Why? Okay, I have to stop spying on Britain. Try to just reduce the amount of issues I have. Our power makes them apprehensive. Our wealth and power makes them resent us. Britain, I am not in a position to fight you. Okay, keep it on low, keep it on low. Um, ah, what the hell do I do? Really need to get some more of these ships rebuilt. I think the Charlemagnes have got to go in. Advanced director, priest elevation, get the better 14-inch uh, guns, get director firing. Um... Man, this is this is gonna be rough because I am not prepared for war. I am not prepared for a war with Britain right now. Uh, I need like more years to prepare, and this is actually getting quite concerning. Um, and I've got I've got to throw these ships into into rebuild. Okay. Uh, move that visual, remove that visual. Yeah, this is not great. I have too big of a fleet which needs to be modernized and too much under construction. Um, I, this might involve halting a cruiser. Okay, uh, so... 
The other thing I want to do was, uh, gun wise, what, where are the most forward ones? That would be five, and then six. Get that down to 14. I'm going to do single, dual purpose, three inch guns. Uh, maybe 10 of them. Okay, yeah, that can work. That position of that gun about there. Set rest angle, set position of this gun to about there. Set rest angle, mirror, mirror. Here, here, and then here. A little sponson. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, this this war would suck having an unmodernized fleet stuck in a cruiser building program, having not been able to get all the dreadnoughts I want out. Um. With tensions with the strongest nation, which has an alliance, or, you know, tensions with one of the strongest nations, with an alliance with the other strongest nation. Uh, yeah, that is worrying. Like, I, technically I have more tonnage than Great Britain, but I think that's just because I have a lot of older ships. Um, and although the CAs aren't terrible, um, still concerning. Okay, where is it? Uh. Add a pull rotating. The rest angle to 90. Add visual 1.2 medium. Rest angle once again to 90. Ah, uh, actually, no. That rest angle to 270. Position. Move this funnel more aft, so, yep. Yeah. And then I need a crane. Crane 2. Rest angle 180, set rest angle. I'm going to adjust it slightly. That position more so about there. Actually, I'll set it the other way. Okay, here we go. Charlemagne class battleships will be refit, and I think, I think I gotta, yeah, I gotta get Ob ferry and, yeah, at least Ob and ferry rebuilt. Um, but this is probably gonna be pretty expensive, getting the Charlemagnes rebuilt with you know their better guns and better fire control. And the min oh god yeah that's that's expensive that's like halt halt a couple ships oh uh, hold on hold on who doesn't have a commander it's a division yeah 14th destroyer um you can just grab a random captain to frigate Yeah, this this is telling me that I need to get my ships rebuilt fast, and um, I'm not in a great situation to do so. Uh, a couple guys got promoted. This is fucking Christ. Um, what the fuck am I gonna do? Oh God, Britain! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, I gotta get Corbet out. I gotta get Corbet out. Um. Okay. 
this is this is a horrible situation. Grab an average guy on the Dugoy Trois class. I gotta get my ships out. Um Oh god. Fucking Christ. I, I am not ready for war. I am not ready for war. Um God damn it. Okay, where okay, where is my tonnage advantage versus Britain? So yeah, it's saying I have a ton of, it's saying I have a tonnage advantage. Um I do have it in battleships. I do have it in battle cruisers. Actually, yeah, that's where a lot of it's coming from. Uh, I don't have it in CVs. Um I do have it in CVLs. That's contributing, but that's like not a factor. CAs in service 9 building. I do have it in CAs, but there aren't great um you have yeah some in seals i don't have it in destroyers they have bigger destroyers on average than me you have some in corvettes i have to do it i have to do it triple turrets on cl this is the worst possible time for this to happen okay new fighters um None of these are as good as this. None of them are anywhere near as good. Uh, King Christ, Halt, Jaffra. Chernay's close to done. Halt, Chanzi. The issue is Chernay is immediately going to have to undergo a rebuild. Upon... Completion. High spying on Britain. Man, I really, I really hope that we, that the U.S. doesn't join. Because if the U.S. joins, we're fucked. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So what ships desperately need rebuilds right now? I need to get Aubin. At this point, it is just get the advanced director on. Um. Turn the three-inch into dual-purpose guns. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I would love to get the better quality 7-inch guns. No point. No point in doing that right now. Um, I don't even think there's a point in getting a float plane on. At this point, it is just try to get this rebuild done as cheaply and efficiently as possible. Actually, maybe there would be a point in getting trying to uh, squeeze in some... Like in a midships float plane. No, no, I think I'll save that for the full rebuild. Okay. Okay. Oh, thankfully it only cost me one prestige point to do that. But yeah. I need, I need to get an alliance, I think. Another alliance would be extremely helpful at this point. I don't know what that, um, that, that, this mount graphic I want to remove. God. Okay, clear tertiary graphics. It's glitching. Okay, um. Okay, there you go. Tertiary guns are installed. Absolutely love to be able to get a float plane on her for uh, scouting purposes. 
Uh, I don't think that actually costs that much. Um, the place to put it, I think, is there. Yeah, it does not cost that much to get a float plane on her. Um, which would be beneficial. Would be beneficial to just get that float plane up and uh, be able to do stuff with it. But man, I, I need my ships out, and I'm not just not able to get them easily enough. And I probably need to uh, get planes on my carriers and get stuff activated. And god damn, this is going to be expensive. Ah... <sighs> This is not what I had in mind. I will... Not at all what I had in mind. This war came out of nowhere. You saw in April, tensions were low. It is October. Ah. Okay, um. I'll remove... How about I remove the furthest aft set? Add visual catapult rotating that rest angle to ninety position on top of the lifeboats. Um, hold on, where's the aft? There we go. Okay, so remove. Wait, no, not that one. Okay, so this one I want to mirror. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Remove that visual. Add in the aircraft visual now. Full plane to medium. That rest angle to 70. That position. Uh, set it back here, actually. The catapults position back there. Um, I'll leave that other catapult in place. I think the visual of this just being on top of the lightboats will still kind of work. Um, mirror that. Move it. Copy that position. Okay. Then we jam her full of anti aircraft. Okay. Um, I feel like this is going to definitely be a war where I have to rely on airplanes very heavily. And I also think a lot of this is going to be trying to keep my um, fleet in Northern Europe, well, in Northern Europe. There goes Ob. Oh, Ferry has started slowing now, too. Okay. Gonna do a very, very, very similar rebuild for Fairy. Clear tertiary graphics go dual purpose on her three inch. Uh, add in an aircraft, add in a midships catapult, position that down in a similar spot. Oh, yeah. Director firing on those, go to an advanced director, but only two fire control positions. Increased elevation. Uh, add mount graphic. Assume dual or twin guns can't be dual purpose, right? Yes.
Okay, um... Press single 180. Press single 180, mount 7. 8. Oh, this is a lot of, um... I'll just look back. Mirror, or... First bat, I should say. God, I really hope this doesn't knock me back down into my... Or kind of knock me down to my place. Okay, um... Can I even operate my full navy? Is a good... Good question at this point. Okay, so remove these two um, deck ventilators. Add a visual or a catapult. Catapult rotating. Set rest angle 90. Another visual. The aircraft. Rest angle two seventy. You can see there my uh, mouse cursor glitch out. It's been doing that a lot. Okay, remove that, mirror that, now remove it, copy that, and then set its position right here. Alright, so that is the rebuild of Jules Ferry. Part of me, part of me wants to consider upgrading the 7-inch guns, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Poit alone, Pothow, and Cond all need uh, rebuilds too, um, but I almost feel like those are those would be second line in the fleet at this point. Um, yeah. Oh God, Michelet has slowed down a knot now. Um, yeah, these cruisers need. Getting rebuilt. Okay. Okay. Um. The Nancys are in fair condition. They should be activated. Everything in Mothball, other than like the battleship, should probably be reserved. Oh, not the battleship. Other than the pre-dreads should be reserved. Uh, these cruisers should probably. Yeah. I probably want all these cruisers at minimum active. Um. Peak class destroyers do also need a rebuild. Fortunately, they are overweight. Um, what the hell do I cut off them? Okay, what if I do a machinery replacement? Eight months at 153. Lose destroyer division, but... I kind of think I have to at this point. Okay. Don't think I can do dual purpose main guns. Yep. So, um. Couple, uh, couple of those. Oh, these things originally went 31 knots. I am actually technically losing speed on them, but. Oh, well. Could get that extra 31 or 31st knot if I remove that increased depth charge storage. I think I will do. Okay. So that that will be a rebuild, just to get the peaks a little bit more in order. 
a little expensive, but hopefully should work. Hopefully should give me a uh, decent set of destroyers. Well, no, return this uh, decent set of destroyers back kind of to me. Make them a better ASW value. Um, Destroyer-wise, though, I think right now the Epes, Mesquitans, and uh, honestly anything which is 1,500 tons gets activated. Everything else stays in its uh, current state. And I believe this is what I'm going to be stuck with for now. Anything else I can halt. Char the problem is Charnay's kind of useless. Charnay's going to have to like immediately undergo multiple rebuilds. So I think Charnay's just going to get halted. Um, two turn... These cruisers are close. Shot or not? Um, so yeah, I'm about to get three good CLs. Um, it's going to be four turns of rebuild for them. Th technically four turns until Corbet is complete. Um, want to get Chanzi done. I want to get Chanzi done. The thing is that Charnay, she's not five months out. She is five months plus probably another four months. Plus probably like another six to eight months. My guess is Charnay, after those five months, is probably still, like, you know, over a year out. Who doesn't have a commander? First light cruiser. Who probably should get a uh, above-average guy in charge. Oh, who doesn't have a commander? Alright, um, two coastal DD divisions... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Interesting, interesting. So, 3rd Coastal Destroyer Division and 4th Coastal Destroyer Division have above-average CVs. Who would actually be useful on some of these ships. Like, uh, on Triumphant, for example, or on Democracy. Or on, you know, some of the... I guess Corbet. Corbet is about to commission... I'll probably re reassign them to, like, Corbet, then. Um, but I might move the guy from Triumphant down. Thinking about it now. Oh, yeah. If I want to activate some ships, it should probably be this group here. That group should be activated and get aircraft squadrons, which I will sort out shortly. Um... What I wanted to do was, I wanted to assign the commander, so this would be an average, I believe, I have an average timid no connections, in charge of Charlemagne, an average gunnery expert in charge of Nantes, so I probably want to leave that guy there. We have the lucky aggressive gun. Um, I feel like the lucky aggressive guy in Triumphant is still good, so I'll grab the one from Charlemagne, and then when Charlemagne gets back, uh, she'll get, you know, another commander. Okay, not, not a great situation. Um, I think right now Gambetta, Hugo, and Michelet get activated too, and, uh, oh god, I cannot... I cannot afford to get Chanzi built right now. Halt Chan yes. keep Chanzi halted. Air groups wise, um can I expand some of these air bases, first of all? Especially along the north or along northern Europe. So what's most important? Dunkirk Dunkirk yeah, Dunkirk is a very important airbase to expand. I think Cherbourg Built one at Cherbourg? If not... Airbase. Cherbourg. Airbase. Uh, 
Havre. Then in Western France, what if I build a motor torpedo boat squadron at like um Dunkirk and Cherbourg? I guess it just built a couple in northern France somewhere. I might still help though, um, because if you know they sail too close, they get the torpedo boats. The issues Caribbean's gonna be annoying. Because the US can technically invade our provinces there. Uh, it would te could technically allow me to go after Panama, but te right now tensions are low enough with the US that it's very possible that um you know, they don't quite go to war with me. I might have to bring research down like 10% just to save a little bit little bit more cash. Uh, in terms of other airfields, I probably do want to expand expand the one at Brest. Um, actually, a lot of battles wind up happening off of here, so I think it is a good idea to expand all those. Yeah, I think the goal is going to be try to defeat Britain first. And then see what to do about, you know, like the U.S. But man, that's a lot of ships halted, including the two ships I actually want to, like, convert into aircraft carriers. Ah, <sighs> okay. But Bjorn's getting her conversion done. So... What is Brit or what does Britain actually have in terms of carriers? So they have Furious Dunn, she is a forty three aircraft aircraft carrier, she's thirty one knots. Um New Zealand can go twenty seven knots and it's only twenty one aircraft. Um so that's a converted battle cruiser. So yeah, she has forty three. We're operating four with twenty and then two with thirty four. Um Okay. Ooh. <laughs> no. Um That was just me trying to uh trying to have a little bit of fun. Let me look up uh French naval aviation squadrons World War 2. The World War 2 French They don't really have a lot, do they? Um, we got flights. I'm wondering if does it... hold on. Okay, it's been organized around two different types of units. Flotilla, combat squadron, carrier, and land-based used arm aircraft, and then uh, Escadra, um, flight carrying out various duties, carrier, land-based, used non-armed aircraft, or helicopters. So, apparently I want to use um, Flotilla. Okay, so how do I want to handle this in terms of my, you know, my carriers? Because we are in the time of, you know, naval warfare or, you know, proper naval warfare. I'm thinking I do a 10-10 split. Copy air group. Okay, so rename the squadrons, change name, 
so this would be low till one dot f right Just trying to look. Okay, so then you would be, oh, not change role, uh, change name. Okay, so normally, yeah, it looks like France kind of does this. Um, because they don't have as much, uh, naval aviation, but, um... This is going to be a little, or this can be a little different. Like, I know with Britain I did it in blocks, because that's what made sense for them. But, you know, this is France. So blocks don't matter as much. Um, I might still try to have some form of organization. So, here's my thought. So, the torpedo bomber units on each carrier are going to be... Um, You know, these flotills. Name three. So how about how about I do this? Copy that. Put the three in there. Name four. Add air unit. Uh, okay. So these. Hmm, how many... I'm going to do 18 torpedo bombers. On each of them. Change name. So, 5. Change name. 6. Okay, and then I'm going to add... Okay, cannot add units to a carrier into rebuild. I was thinking about adding some to uh, Bjorn, but um, just, you know, preemptively. But I think Bjorn's going to have two torpedo bomber squadrons, so they'd be named 7 and 8. So you would be the 9. Change name. That's the tenth. Change name. Eleventh. Change name to the twelfth. Okay, add an air unit of fighters. Add an air unit of fighters. Okay. Um, and then off of these other air bases, I think I'm going to operate squadrons uh, normally designated for um, Bjorn. Uh, I, hmm, how am I going to handle that? So... The problem is these are only 20 capacity air bases, so that means that Bjorn squadrons have to be split between three of them. So Bjorn's a uh, 49 aircraft aircraft carrier. You need to keep that in mind. Um, how many planes would I be expecting her to operate? So I'd probably want her to have four squadrons. Um, 48 can actually split up into four really nicely. Uh, what does 48 split up into? Oh, it'd be 12. And then next, so, yeah. Squadrons of 12, and then a squadron of 13. Um, actually means that these would be split between four air bases. So, in Kirk, carrier trained 12 torpedo bombers. Brest, uh, yeah, Brest, uh, 
carrier trained. Actually, hold on. No, I'm going to do uh, St. Nazaire. No, I'll do Brest. I'll do Brest. Torpedo bomber. 12 carrier trained. Fighter. 12 carrier trained. Actually, I think Brest's... Uh, yeah, Brest's torpedo bombers are going to be 13. Then you can get a uh, fighter group of... 12 carrier trained and then those will be the squadrons which wind up getting put on Bairn on Bairn I should say um, so we're, I'm forming the squadrons now they are going to contribute in battle and then when it's time they're going to be stuck on Bairn okay so I want this to be change name 7 uh, change name, eight, change name, I'll leave it there for now, Dixmood has 14, so you will be 15, change name, and then you would be 16. Okay, so if I look at the map, um... I think Dunkirk and Brest, or Dunkirk would be the best to put me. Actually, any of these would be good to put medium bombers on. So, medium bombers. Okay, I would say medium bombers. I do need some patrol aircraft here, too. So, yeah, naval patrol aircraft. Um. Okay, you know what? Change number to just seven naval air patrol aircraft there. At Brest, um, La, yeah, okay. Can you like squadrons of? No, I can only do squadrons of four. Add medium. Then add uh, groups of four medium bombers. Those might expand a little later on. Um, of course, I will also have to give all these names. So the naval patrol aircraft will get, um, I believe, 17 onwards. Hold on, that one didn't quite work. And there we go. That would be 17 through 20 are the naval patrol aircraft. And then the medium bombers would be, I believe, 21 through 23. Okay, um... Yeah, time to uh, start preparing for war. I honestly think... Hold on. I honestly do think it would be a good idea to try to get gunnery training and uh, damage control, and or damage control, but um, I can't afford that shit. That's the issue, is I, I just, I can't afford it. Okay, next turn. Whew. This is this is where stuff gets worrying. Corbet will be completed with their best fire control. Yes, do that. Why Britain? Why why do this? I have so much money going into construction. That's just the issue right now. Um, construction is so expensive. Early AA director. I got promoted. 
Oh god, this is costing so much per month. We will get a cruiser done though. Duquen or um halt Duquens. Gotta get Duquens halted. The rest of these ships will complete soon enough. Actually, I should probably get Sully into the active fleet. I get her up, her crew quality up as quickly as possible. Let's try to work up, um, at the very least, Marseille. Ah, man, this is way too expensive, but we are about to get a CL done, which will be great. Or the CLs are about to complete, which will be very helpful. God, I didn't activate the Paris. Paris and Triumphant should be active. Oh god, this is... Money-wise, this is bad. Money-wise, this is... Very bad. Oh, Japan now has an equal shipbuilding... Or equal shipbuilding capability. Uh, air groups wise Oh yeah, it looks like everything immediately filled out. Good. Let me see if I can reserve these other air bases and uh, just see if that saves a little bit more cash. It's only a small amount. Rebuild or Corbet's completion should be really, really helpful with everything, though. That's kind of my hope. Um, get Corbet into service, and this becomes much more manageable. Okay, um, so, 5th Destroyer needs a new commander, above average captain to frigate, I will hold him back, I have an unassigned average lucky, I think is what I will take. No. Yeah, we do have these, uh, Captain Divisos there. Did someone here get promoted at all? I don't think so. Okay. 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 Uh, this still concerns me. Okay. New air bases are done. One cruiser is commissioned. The naval aircraft I'm now spending a lot on. They're not is commissioned. It's war. Oh, man. I can't afford anything. I have to activate my whole navy. What what do I what do I sacrifice? Activate those. Here's what I will put the Pascals on trade protection. Anything in a coastal destroy division needs to be on trade protection. I'll activate the Hokanos. I don't have the money to afford this. I don't have the money to afford this. I think I have to halt a Baron. Those are almost done. There's so much money tied up in rebuilding the Charlemagnes and Corbet. Ah, God, is this even survive? Like, but budget-wise, this is horrible. This is the worst timed war possible. Um, and I think I do have to expand the air bases at Cherbourg and the Hav. I'm not even sure I can put planes at them right now. Um, God, this situation is horrid. Yeah, look at that. I cannot afford my navy.
Oh my god. You know halt, halt these, halt these. These will get back quickly enough. Um, Corbet. God, it's going to be really difficult getting Corbet out. But yeah, this is just going to have to be something where I just gradually get ship out after ship out. This is... This is the worst timed war possible with the worst opponent possible. Um, <sighs> anyway, um, I think that uh, does it for me. Thank you, everyone, for watching this uh, Earth Waves 3 series. It's been me, No Name Moment 7 Spore. Links to my Discord, Twitch. I'm just going to ignore the third one. Are down below. Discord and Twitch are down below. You can join the Discord for notifications on the videos. You can go to the Twitch to, uh, you know, see when I live stream stuff, which isn't Real Waves. Any Real Waves live streams, which I do, which I need to do again. I've not been live streaming much recently, um, would be done on YouTube. And um, aside from that, there is also a link to a community Real Waves Discord server if you want to join that. It's officially recognized, but not actually official. Um... Yeah, thank you again, Naval Warfare Simulations, uh, Slytherin, and Matrix for, you know, the key for this. I will see you next time. Bye.